Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. So, what you're about to see is a result of Garmin planning via GPS and navigation a 9k route for me. I've come away for a few days to a different location. Um, I would have planned a route beforehand online and then saved it to my phone, but as you're aware, Garmin was down. It is now back up, and uh, I suppose I should be thankful that it has planned a route. But what you're about to see should explain why I'm making decisions to even walk this last part when normally I'd run it all the way home. So, yeah, I say enjoy. <sighs> hey everybody, um, so I'm just at the hotel which is on the outskirts of the new forest. I'm not actually running in the forest as such, so I keep looking behind me because I've loaded a course onto my watch. Unfortunately, the shortest round kind of course was 9k. So I can't do a quick 5k. I'm gonna go nine, which means I'm relying solely on my watch to get me back to my accommodation. So I <laughs> didn't necessarily want to go out and do a 9k, but 9k is what it is. I could run out and back, but that's gonna rely on me knowing mentally where I've gone and all that stuff. But anyway, lovely area, beautiful. And uh, I'll keep you updated. <sighs> nice little area in here called Buskett's Lawn Forestry Commission. I mean, potentially, oh, <laughs> pothole. Uh, potentially, that's a lovely place to go for a run, but like I say, I'm just not obviously familiar at all with this area. So, I'm sticking to the route for now. And when I get back, I'll do a bit of a Google Maps, I think, and figure out what else nearby. But that looks logically like quite a nice place to, to run. Quite a few blind corners, so I'm crossing over so the traffic is behind me simply because, like this, look, watch. If I'm on the other side of the road, they're not going to see me, so on this side, a bit more control. I'm wearing a nice bright colour on this, as you can see. That's intentional, so that I'm just keeping as safe as I can, especially around unknown roads like this. The last thing is an accident. And, uh, yeah, too many people driving too fast. You know, it's natural. Well, the views have got altogether a bit more boring. Here's the main road. So, jumping up onto the footpath alongside the main road here. Uh, yeah, not the nicest of us here. It's just, uh, yeah, very messy now. Very, very messy. And, uh, yeah, altogether more dangerous. Look at this. All right, 4K in about 23 minutes, so that's too fast. Needs to be a bit slower. This terrain is unforgiving. It's just solid tarmac or compact gravel. So actually, not that nice on the legs at all, but I guess you could class it as a, a worthwhile run just to give the legs a little bit more to work with. Uh, a bit more of a challenge, but yeah, it's about 25 degrees. It's hot. I've still got you know, more to run than I have already run so far. And uh, yeah, it's pretty tiring. And uh, I'm fueled on Wagamama's and green tea. Not ideal at all. Basically, a complete disaster of a combination, but we work with what we've got. And I need to get used to these difficult situations. Still here, running along the road. I mean, this route would be perfect in a car, perfect on a bike, but gosh, it is horrible to run. It's truly, truly terrible. It's just so hard and so dangerous. It really is a zero out of 10 for safety. Uh, I'm running along the side of roads which are, for the most part, national speed limit, 70 miles an hour. The car's whizzing past me now. The thing is, I've got a choice. If I, uh, if I, um, sorry, I think that woman's wing mode just came off. 
Oh, bless her. The wing mirror's just been knocked off by some complete idiot driving the other way. Um, the thing is, it's just dangerous now. My problem is, if I walk, it may be safer in many respects, but I'm on the road for longer. I just want to get back now. Nearly at 7k. Just want this run over with. Oh, just got a little bit emotional actually. Remember that lady whose wing mirror got knocked off? Well, she she drove back past me and asked me if I knew the number plate, but I didn't. I'm so good at those things. I'm really, really good at it. And uh, I think just in the moment I I was, yeah. Oh, hang on. Will it? Oh, it might be on here, might not it? Might be behind me when I was filming, I don't know. Oh, I don't fucking do, damn. Should have thought a bit quicker about that. Uh, yeah, so anyway, this lady, she was trading her car in in two days time. It's her 50th wedding anniversary. She was going out to get fish and chips. Oh, really feel for her. Really feel for her. So sad. So, so sad. Well, and there it is. 9k of the most unsafe and unpleasant running I've ever done. There's just no football for so much of it, like you see behind me. So, like I said, what Garmin has created for me is a route that is nine kilometers, but is not fit for pedestrians or for hiking um, at all. And so, unfortunately, it was a really, really horrible run. Uh, I'm actually pleased it's over. It's the first time I ever said that, really, for a run. I am pleased it's over, simply from a safety aspect. Don't feel safe at all. I'm actually walking in the last few hundred metres because of so many blind bends here. And uh, yeah, disappointing really. But it is what it is. Stay positive. Move on. And uh, yeah gonna be grabbing some dinner shortly at the hotel's restaurant got a lovely vegan menu so I'm looking forward to diving into that and uh, just getting back to the comfort really of a nice clean room somewhere away from cars